Hey guys, so we just got to Florence, Italy, and we are now eating lunch. Um, and we found this 1950s American diner. So, Sinclair, tell us about it. Well, it's just like the 1950s. Not that I was there. <laughs> they got everything from burgers to chicken sandwiches to fries to nachos. So, it's really cool to see this in the, play in the middle of Italy. So. Right, so when you walk in and you get to your seat, there's actually, the menu is in Italy, but then the waiter will bring you one that's in English so you can read it so you know what you're getting. Lauren, tell us what you got. Um, I got a cheeseburger, <laughs> of course, um, and got fries with it and a Coke. So typical American meal, but I'm super excited about it. You never know when you're going to get another one here. But um, it's super cute, really exciting. Um, hopefully the food's good. <laughs> All right, Hannah, tell us what you think about it. Uh, I got cheeseburger and I'm very happy, so I decided to drink beer. Yeah! <laughs> and the waitress are so cute. I like her. Uh, okay. So this is actually what it looks like. You can tell it's very nice. We have a car. Actually, have the American flag hanging up. We have Coca Cola sign. We actually have a soccer game with British. I'm actually going to show you guys the menu. So, this is the original version that you can read. It has so much. You can get Mexican, you can get wraps, you can get breakfast. Who are you? I think he actually got the vegan chicken nuggets, if I'm being right. Here is Alright, Antonio, you're live right now. I am. Tell me, what do you think about the diner? I think this is the first American spot we've seen the past few days, so it's really enlightening just to see everything that's going on. I feel like the food is going to be amazing, honestly. How do you feel, Sarah Jake? You really, what have you seen so far of Florence, just knowing they have something like this? Um, well, when we passed by, actually, there was a hamburger outside, so you knew that they obviously had American food. And then when you get in here and they give you a menu that's in English and you can see all the options, you're like, what do I want? They have onion rings. Me and Antonio kept thinking we we're gonna get onion rings, but then we decided against it. All right. Antonio, one last question. How's that? Tell me what you think of the decor in here. I think the decor is really home style too. Like this is, I mean, of course we weren't around in the 50s, but this is definitely stuff we can relate to and different various art forms that we can, we've can we seen in some point in time. The fact that you have the traditional Coke cans, Thunder cans, Thunder cans. We have barbecue sauce, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard. I don't know, literally, I haven't seen anything with ketchup and mustard in the past two days now. So we got french fries. I haven't had french fries since America. I He's not lying. I am looking forward to the french fries. We haven't had a good American dish since we left the United States. Now, don't get me wrong, the Italian food has been lovely, but I needed a break. Oh, we can only eat so much pasta. So I'm really excited about this cheeseburger that I'm about to eat. And I'm really loving it. Uh, the bus ride was nice. It was very comfortable. We all got our own kind of aisle to hang out with napkins. Um, it was nice. It was just glad to be here and to be getting some really How do you feel about the experience so far? Compared to Venice, the floor is how do you feel about this? The waiters on the roller skates? The fans so far? Yeah. Yeah. Really, really clean. Alright, Sinclair, any last thoughts about the diner? Makes you feel no, home. just hungry. Makes you feel like we're right back in America, doesn't it? Hey, guys, I am signing off for now, but I will tell you what I ate later in my vlog, and I'll tell you if it was good. So stay tuned. 
Make sure you keep reading the blog to see what else we get up to today in Florence on our first day here. All right, I'm about to enjoy my food. See y'all guys later.